السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله ما بعد ولكم brothers sisters in this new episode of our program lights of the prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم the hadith today says whoever does not give up forged speech and evil actions Allah is not in need of his leaving his food and drink this is a very important hadith and it has a very important concept that fasting doesn't mean only to stop eating or to stop drinking. Fasting doesn't mean to pray on time. Fasting doesn't mean that at night I go to the masjid to pray taraweeh in the congregation. Fasting doesn't mean I mean, fasting Ramadan doesn't mean that I, I, I distribute the food for the poor people. All of them very important during the month of Ramadan. But something very important, which is to protect yourself from the vain talk, to protect yourself from the unnecessary talk, the wrong speech or saying anything haram, not allowed, unlawful. You have to be careful. Don't lie, don't insult, don't curse. Try your best to say good or keep silent. As the Prophet وسلم, said, why should I follow this rule? Because if you say bad things, if you lie, if you behave in a wrong way, then your fasting is useless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give you any reward. Yes, I have to fast, but because of the wrong speech and also the bad behavior, you will lose all of your reward. Subhanallah. The Prophet وسلم, when they asked the companions, do you know who is the bankrupt? The companion said, Oh Rasulullah, the bankrupt means the one who doesn't have money, the one who doesn't have wealth, the one who doesn't have house. It means if you don't have car, if you don't have house, if you don't have gold, silver, it, this is the meaning of bankrupt person. Al-Muflis. The Prophet وسلم, said, Al-Muflis min ummati, the bankrupt of my nation, it means the one who has salah, prayers, who has zakah, charity. It means he gave charity, who's fasting, who's doing great deeds. But what is the problem? The problem, he insulted this person. He oppressed the other person. Maybe he killed this person or he fought this person. So these people will take from his hasanat, from his reward until his reward finish, until his hasanat finish. Then those people will give him their sins. Then Allah will tell the angels, take this person to the hellfire. Subhanallah. He will be in the hellfire. And he was fasting Ramadan. He was praying on time. He was giving charity. Yes, because he was wasting his reward by insulting the others bothering the others, cursing the others, beating the others. So we need to be very careful how to protect our hasanat, our reward. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept only the pure and the good deeds which are not shared by any bad deeds. I mean by, 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 we should not invalidate our good deeds by the wrong actions. Don't think that if I am fasting, I am praying, I am giving charity, I am doing hajj, this doesn't mean that my rewards, all of my rewards will be accepted and I will find them at the Day of Judgment. There is a risk 
or there is a chance that you lose your reward. But I am praying. Yes, you are praying, but you are doing something wrong to lose your hasanat. So try your best to protect your hasanat. How? Keep silent. The Prophet ﷺ said, The one who keeps silent, he's saving himself. The one, if you believe in Allah and the last day, say good or keep silent. Okay, and that's why the Prophet sallallahu okay, uh, alaihi was doing i'tikaf the last ten days of Ramadan. He was doing i'tikaf the last ten days of Ramadan. What is the meaning of i'tikaf? I'tikaf means to stay in the masjid. It is not allowed. It is not allowed to get out the masjid. to stay in the masjid worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reading Quran, praying, making dua, maybe reading some tafsir. I mean, reading the meaning, the meanings of the Quran, the meaning of the ahadith. This will be very helpful to protect your fasting. We need to protect our fasting. If you avoid going outside, because if you go to the malls, if you go to your friends, there is a chance that you lose some of your hasanat. So I like to protect my fasting. I'll stay in the masjid. I will not move out of the masjid. So, brothers and sisters, don't waste your hasanat. The most important thing in your life is your hasanat, your reward. So you need to protect that. How? You avoid the haram things insulting, beating, and these things. So the Prophet Sallallahu teaching us what is the best fasting or how to be a real person who is fasting Ramadan, you should avoid the wrong behavior and also you should avoid the bad speech, the bad talk. The Muslim should behave like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say good or keep silent. No need to, 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 to discuss all the issues. For some Muslims nowadays, they feel that I should discuss every single issue. This issue will relate to medicine, the other issue related to politics, the other issue related to uh, education. So I should criticize, I should discuss all kinds of issues. And this is wrong. If you have experience and if you think this is beneficial, then you can give your opinion. But if you are not experienced and if you are experienced or if you are experienced but it is not useful okay, to speak now, so please keep silent. As the, the scholars say, As-salam ala ya'adil wa shay. To be safe is the best thing. How? To keep silent. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Zakamullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.